Thank God for the wake up. Thank God for the wake up. Thank God for the wake up. Top of the morning. How is everyone doing? I pray everyone is having a great start to their day. Uh, remember to live in the present. I am your host, Luis Lopez, and you are listening to Talking Cancer, my journey, my way. Be sure to like, layer, like, share, follow, subscribe, whatever, um, on all your social media platforms and podcasts and things like that. I would truly appreciate it. Um, you know, today's a good start to the week. Seriously, um, I feel great. I went to wait, I went to bed super early yesterday. Well, not super early, but somewhere around nine thirty or so, which is probably the earliest I've gotten to bed in a while. But I feel very uh, nice and refreshed this morning. Um, you know, and I'm still uh, eating um, completely a hundred percent plant based. And, um, staying away from processed foods, I think maybe about two, three percent, maybe not even that, of having something processed, you know what I mean? Very, 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 very minimal. Like, it's been like, what, three weeks, a month almost, I think this is the beginning of a month of complete plant base and I think I might have had like three or four things that have been processed so that's a good that's a good thing kudos right pat on the back pat on the back <sighs> um, <laughs> um but no seriously um it's, it's definitely been a journey and it's definitely um been um an awakening um to say the least so, um, definitely, I definitely encourage anyone that wishes to try to do so, to do so. I mean, honestly, it doesn't hurt. Um, it's good for you. It's good for your body. It's good for the longevity of your, of your, your life. Um, um, having your body run, uh, optimally, um, just making it just, I mean, just putting things that are good in your body just sounds normal, right? You know, if I was to tell you, hey, don't smoke that crack, you would listen to me, right? Same concept. You know, there's so many things, bad things that are in our foods that we get from our everyday grocery store that are mislabeled and things like that, you know, but we continue to buy it and continue to ingest it. You know, that's crazy. That's crazy to me. I mean, the more and more I sit here and learn and think about things, it's definitely, <laughs> definitely food for thought, right? No pun intended, but seriously, um, I know these foods and these foods are comfort foods. You know, they're, they're great. They taste amazing. Go just to just buying, a some Oreos, you know, especially those mint Oreos. Oh, things are amazing. Like what? Things are great. But then you start looking at the package and all the things that are in it, the sugar and all that, bad sugar at that, you know, which sugar, sugar is more addicting, the most addicting drug out there. So, you know, and then thing, the things that it, it does to you, your body and how it processes it, processes it, um, you know, that's a whole nother game. But, you know, um, I think it was last week. I want to say like Thursday or something like that. I told you I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about different options um, out there, you know, to um, to make sure, you know, you're doing the things that you need to do 
to be as proactive in your your disease and making sure you're looking at second opinions, things like that. Um, I'm not against rap. I'm against rappers. No, I'm just. <laughs> um, no, I'm not against conventional ways. It just wasn't working for me. And not only that, but I'm not saying that I am completely done with conventional either. What I'm saying is, you know, from this time since I've been diagnosed, I've had, I've just had a bad experience. Everybody's experience is not like mine. But I've had a bad experience, you know, near death experience with chemo poisoning, um, bad experience with my physicians, so on and so forth. You know, and I'm working on, you know, changing all of that so we can have a better understanding. But I also know that, you know, every time I go in, you know, the agenda or the push is for chemo. You know, chemo, 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 chemo. That's it. Conventional chemo. And there's no listening to alternatives, especially you know, when the condition or my condition is deemed terminal, there's no hope at this point, you know, but let's keep you, you know, let's keep you alive long enough. And then maybe there's, you know, a trial drug that you could use or, or something like that. You know what I mean? I'm like, uh, I don't know. Right now, I just, you know, rather just, I mean, the trial drug is going to come and, and go. But, you know, the messed up part about some of that stuff is that, you have to you have to exude all your conventional before you even try the clinical. You know that's their process. Oh, you got you rejected all of that. Now it's going to try this. You know, new clinical drug. Anyway, but there are a lot of stuff out there that you could look into. Some of them are in the country. Some of them are not. And, um, and there's a lot of natural things that you could do as well. You know, all things that lead to assisting your body to work optimally. Now, at this particular point where I'm at, I choose to do a lot of things naturally I do I make sure that I am conscious of my nutrition the things that I'm putting in and out of my body um you know nutrition is is huge no matter how you put it if you're feeding yourself great things your body will run more optimally. Now, I'm not saying, and I can't say because I don't have my results or anything yet, I cannot say that, I hey, this cured me because for the simple fact that I don't know yet, I need to go get some more lab results and things like that and get tested. But what I can say to you is that I feel amazing with my nutrition the things that I'm putting into my body is helping me run optimally. My digestion is better. So um, nutrition is huge to assist with moving forward, you know, moving, moving to a place where your body starts to self-heal. Uh, another thing for me that I do is um, strengthening my mentality with affirmations, uh, declarations of healing and belief. Um, another thing that I do is spiritually, constantly, constantly praying and being thankful or grateful for all that is in the present 
especially right now. Because the past I cannot change and the future I have no control over. I can only deal with the present, the now. You know, at this particular point, the future does not exist truly. You know, so um, I deal within the present and try to be conscious and thankful and grateful of everything that I am doing. Um, that's, uh, that's important as I move forward. Um, I also do uh, acupuncture. Um, I love my acupuncture. I think my acupuncturist has um, helped me considerably with my digestion and helping my energy flow the way it should. This also assisting with my body being able to run as optimal as it can. So, you know, that's that. Um, there's also other things that you could do naturally. Uh, sound therapy, frequency therapy, um, cryotherapy. Um, there's just, there's a lot of different uh, modalities in which you could take massage, lymph drainage, um, you know, things of that nature um, to make sure that your body is running as it should. Um, and making sure that you have um, all the things, especially if you're going the nutrition route, making sure that if you aren't getting the the proper things that you need through um, your food, then make sure that you have supplements and things like that to give you more magnesium or potassium and things of that nature, you know, pro and prebiotics. Um, also, um, I'm a big fan of tea and alkaline. Um, so I alkaline my, my water um, throughout the day, uh, lemon water, things like that. Um, I add lemons to my teas, green teas, uh, mushroom teas, uh, you name it. Uh, lemongrass teas, um, definitely, definitely very healing, especially uh, in the Eastern medicine philosophy. So definitely look at those. Um, so also, if you're looking to look at new conventional, well, new Western technology type stuff, um, new treatments that they are coming out with, you know, um, and you're looking, I see like radiation, um, you have your conventional radiation. I think I spoke on this a little bit. You have your conventional radiation. And then you also have California Proton. Um, I know they have a facility here in San Diego. And they focus on targeted radiation. Um, which is uh, very interesting. I actually like them a lot. I actually went to see them too late because I had already had radiation. And I found out them, about them late. Um, but depending on the size of the mass or tumor, they could target it, you know, where the, where it's just not, they don't kill the tissues all around, you know, in, in the, the radius of it. Um, you don't have this huge scar tissue. Um, where they lasered. Um, so that's very, very, you know, very, very pre uh, precise, things like that. Um, you also have um, targeted, uh, these are like trials that they're coming out with trial drugs where they have targeted chemo. You know, where it goes straight to, you know, the tumor. They also have um, 
they have this place called, it's uh, based out of Mexico. Um, it's called Hope for Cancer. And I'm actually, you know, looking into them a little bit more myself because it sounds intriguing. And remember, a lot of this stuff, you know, that I'm speaking of now is more out of pocket because, you know, conventional uh, insurance and health insurance don't see these as alternatives or don't have these in their agenda quite yet. So some of this stuff is out of pocket which makes it hard. Um, but uh, Hope for Cancer um, is based out of Mexico, and they take an integrative approach, you know, like the whole body. Um, they have, they have uh, immuno, bioimmunotherapy, and they have uh, something else called photodynamic therapy. So look into those. Um, and you'll, you know, you can find out more about them, but the place is called Hope for Cancer. Um, you also have a place here in the U.S. called the City of Hope, where they use, oh, I think I said the City of Hope uses targeted chemo, sorry. Um, and you also have like uh, the Williams Cancer Center Institute. Uh, one is based, I believe, out of Fort Lauderdale. And another uh, facility they have in Mexico, I believe. And they offer uh, three different types of treatment versus the conventional chemo. Um, they have intramural immunotherapy, cryobla cryoablation, and they also have a new technology called pulsed electrical field. So take a look into those. You are a possible candidate for some of those things. And if you are, um, I think a great thing to do, and I just, I just put my profile together. I still need to add some things to it. But I believe, um, let me see, where is it? Do, 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 do. Um, I believe it's called Leo or something like that. Uh, I know I did not erase it. Um, okay, Leo Health. Leo Health is a platform, like an app, uh, AI app or, or whatever. Uh, it, it is an app, and I actually found it on my Instagram, I believe. So I was curious, and I looked at it. Um, but you, you put in, you basically just go to the app called Leo Health, L-E-A-L, Health. And you go into the app and you put your name and your diagnosis and, and all the stuff that you can possibly fill out, you know, um, whether you've done genomic testing and so on and so forth. If you know your blood count, if you have issues, if you're having this or that, what have you done? Have you done radiation? Have you not? And in turn, when you're done, you know, analyze it. You know, you put your email in there, um, it'll analyze it all, whatever, and then it'll shoot you back all the possible types of treatment that you could have, you know, versus your basic chemo. And a lot of it has still has chemo in it, but there's different avenues in which you're um able to take and, and these are things that you can arm yourself with you don't necessarily have to to use them but these these are these are bullets you know so when you go to the doctor okay if you're doing your research and all of this stuff like that and you're and you just got diagnosed or or even now you're you know you're going through the middle of therapy or whatever it doesn't matter when you do it but you have these bullets and you're able to take these bullets and go to your doctor and say, hey, doc, what about this? What's this? What's this? What's that? You know, and you could get some better understanding for why they chose the way that they're going 
and or or even ask them how come none of these other options were presented to me you know so yeah you could use these as definite talking points with your physician with your oncologist you know and, and start open up opening these conversations to to explore different ways of doing things and you know also look things up look at the side effects if there are any you know because a lot of them I'm, I'm pretty sure they do have side effects because it still involves uh, chemo and things like that but definitely take a look into those things I also do this thing right now where um, I've actually for a while now uh, I think I, I think it's been about a month almost where I've actually introduced where I've actually started to wear these stem cell patches, you know, and I feel like they've been very, very beneficial in assisting with me um, just running as, as optimal as I can. You know, some of the stem cell patches are um, immunobase, you know, will help strengthen your immune system. You know, cognitive type memory being sharper and things like that. So, and none of it claims to be a cure. But it does help assist in helping your body run as optimal as I can. I take the two patches right now, three patches really. Um, um, it's, uh, it's called X39, um, also X49. And an Aeon patch when I go to sleep. Or Ion. Something like that. Um, but LifeWave is, you know, actually through LifeWave. Um, they have patent on all these patches. Um, so, and I haven't experienced any any side effects whatsoever. So, that is a good thing. So, yeah, check out LifeWave as well. If you... Um, you know, need some help or contact and you want to know more information about LightWave, you could definitely, LifeWave, not LightWave, LifeWave, uh, definitely reach out to me, um, cancer, my journey, my way at gmail.com. I greatly appreciate it. Um, well, that's my, um, I hope that gave you some, some decent information, some tools to go out and, and go research uh, your options and things like that in, in, this journey that you're on and hopefully you choose what works for you um at this time i'm a i'm a big advocate on nutrition um exercise of uh, just making my body strong and getting my body to to run and and on on god's fuel you know what i mean um that's where i'm at but you know continue to push your journey to ask questions, to research, and find out what's best for you. Best for you. Remember, check out Leo, Leo Health, and you know that'll help you give you some bullets so you could talk to your doctor um, and ask him, "Hey, what is this? What is that?" and so on and so forth. I think that's a very good tool. I just found that out recently, so I will be talking to them a little bit more, um, and and kind of going from there. So. Uh, take a look. Um, so again, if you wanna if you wanna know more about the LifeWave patches, please just you know reach out to me. I could tell you more about them, and and kind of just go from there. You know what I mean. So reach out to me, Cancer My Journey My Way at Gmail dot com. That is my time. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe, and share. And that's it. I'm done. Peace, love, one.